everyone, I'm Vail from Mike and Vail's Life, and today I am participating in the 2018 DIY Outdoor and Decor Challenge, hosted by the DIY Mommy. Now this is where you, you share a DIY and then add it to your decor and film how you used it. The project I have chosen is to make a flag from a wooden pallet. Now, I have seen these in front of houses, uh, country stores. Country stores really like them, and, and I have always wanted one and wouldn't buy one. I've seen them at craft stores because I always felt like I wouldn't give that price for something that I knew I could make myself. The thing was, I never would make it myself. But today is the day I'm going to get started to make the pallet, the, the flag. Now, this... Uh, Mike had several of these pallets, and this was the best one that we found that he could that I could use. Uh, so I'm actually just just at the back of his shop to to work on this. Okay, now I want to uh, put on my safety gear. Okay, I'm going to start sanding. Now I do want to go ahead and say this does not have to look perfect. In fact, you don't want it to look too perfect. It's going to be a rustic decor piece. That, and it's going to hopefully really look good on our log, uh, our porch of our log house. So I'm going to continue. Okay, I turned it around so I could get the, the last three boards. It's six boards total. I did three. I'm going to do the next three. But when I did, I noticed that this board is a little warped. So it's better for me to go ahead and fix it now before I go any further. Okay, on with the sanding. And I will be back tomorrow to prime. Okay, now I'm going to prime the wood. Now, uh, I'm using oil-based primer. I would have probably would have preferred to have water-based, but I didn't want to have to go buy something. And we already had this on hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I, I, I cleaned it real good after the sanding from yesterday and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a coat of primer on. Okay, I am now through priming it. It has to set up for 24 hours. So tomorrow I'll come back. I'll check if it needs, if I feel like it needs to uh, have another coat of prime, I'll do that tomorrow. I won't, I won't put it on the video. If I feel like it's ready to, to go ahead and, and paint it, I'll go ahead and do that. So tomorrow at this time. Bye-bye. Okay, now I am on day three. Now, I've already, the first thing I did is I got some sandpaper. This is that 220 sandpaper. Just folded it and set, gave it a real light sanding just to get out the little rough spots uh, on, the, on the wood. 
Then I, got, I used compressed air. I blew it off really good. So now it's good and clean to start painting. Also, taped off where I want the blue to go and the stripes. Now, I do want to explain that we're starting off with red and we should end in red. But that I just didn't have a palette that I had enough of boards to do it. So we're going to do end in white. If we really just don't like the way it looks, we'll maybe try something else. But we're hoping it will be okay. And like I said from the beginning, it is just a uh, rustic look. We're going to go ahead and do it, and we'll just see how it looks. So I'm going to start with the red. I already have the red paint ready. Start over here. Okay, now I'm through with the red, and I'm going to go ahead and paint the white stripe. Okay, I'm back. Now, I was able to come this morning and do a second coat on the red and the, the white. So, now I am going to start on the blue. This is where the stars are going to be and everything. Okay, now I am through for the, with the first coat of the blue. And let me show you how it's turning out. I will be able to come in the morning and do a second coat and then be able to put the stars on. So I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Okay, now I'm going to just spray paint some little cutout stars that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now we are on the last step of the project. I painted these stars yesterday and now I have laid out the stars the way I think looks best. It is not historically accurate because there was never um, an official 39 star flag. But this is just a representation of the flag and it's not meant to be necessarily historically accurate. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my E6000 and I'm going to put a little dab underneath the star, each star, and then I'm going to get, uh, and then I'm going to pin nail right in the center to keep the star from uh, moving while the E6000. Between the two of them, they should be really on there good. So let me get started.
Okay, now it is through. I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, the next time you see it, it's going to be on our front porch. See you in a few. Now here is the finished product. I think it absolutely turned out gorgeous. I'm extremely pleased with it. We just put it on the porch. We just have our, a couple of rockers, a little table in the center. And I'm just real, real proud of it. Once again, I want to thank Christina from the DIY Mommy for uh, making this challenge. And I want to thank all the viewers that who have watched. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope someone maybe gets inspired. I want to say that it is a friend, uh, cost-friendly uh, project to do. The, as you know, you, get those, you can get those pallets for free. And... All it costs then is a little red, white, and blue paint and a little primer. Now, I was lucky Mike had already had the primer and the, the white paint. He thought he had the red and the blue, but it turns out he didn't, so we had to buy that. And I did buy the little stars from Hobby Lobby. So I just want to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day and a, a wonderful week yet to come. Bye-bye.